Women's activist Hosha Mubarez tells Newsy the future of women in Afghanistan is very worrying. Less than a month ago, a series of bombs appeared to deliberately target girls at a high school in Kabul, Afghanistan's capital city. This attack has prompted serious concerns about the future of education among women in the country as U.S. troops withdraw and peace talks falter between the country's government and the Taliban. Our students are apprehensive, a high school administrator tells us. The government should not ignore women's rights when negotiating with the Taliban. Prior to its removal from power by U.S. troops in 2001, the Taliban banned girls from receiving a formal education in the country. Speaking with Newsy, students, educators and activists say they're concerned that a return to power for the Taliban will result in those bans being renewed. My concern is that people say the Taliban are coming back. This high schooler fears her education will not continue. According to a recent New York Times report, the Taliban has already begun imposing education limits for girls in parts of the country under its control. This has reportedly come in the form of school closures, firing of teachers, and orders for older girls to remain at home. Tosha Mubarez worries that if the Taliban keep young girls from school, they'll also keep adult women from going to work and university. The Taliban has denied responsibility and condemned the recent bombings outside the high school that left roughly 90 people dead, many of them female students. We lost our classmates and friends, she says. We call upon our government to hear our voice and help us. We are tired of the situation. But not everyone believes a return to power for the Taliban means girls will be barred from receiving an education. It is not correct for people to say the Taliban are against women's education, says a member of the Ministry of Hajj and Religious Affairs. They want to bring some reforms and regulations according to Sharia law, he says. As the country awaits talks between the Taliban and Afghan government, many say they're not prepared to give up any of the progress the country has made inside the classroom, regardless of what changes the Taliban may have in mind. High schooler Zaha says, we will never give up going to school. For Newsy, I'm Meg Hilling.